Prepare your systems for the root KSK rollover. Everybody knows that changing your password regularly is an important security practice for any internet user. The internet's domain name system does something similar. The security system of the DNS is known as Domain Name System Security Extensions, or DNSSEC. It works by authenticating the integrity of information within the DNS. The Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers is planning to roll, or change, the top cryptographic key used in the DNSSEC protocol. This key is commonly known as the Root Zone Key Signing Key, or KSK. Changing the key involves generating a new cryptographic key pair and distributing the new public component to DNSSEC validating resolvers. Once the new key has been generated, operators of certain kinds of DNS infrastructure known as recursive name servers will need to take action. These operators include internet service providers and medium to large enterprise networks who have enabled DNSSEC validation on their recursive name servers. They will need to update their service configuration with the new key. After the servers are updated with the new key, when a user attempts to visit a website, the recursive name server uses the new KSK to validate the DNS information corresponding to the website. Why you need to prepare. Currently, 750 million people are using DNSSEC validating resolvers that could be affected by this KSK rollover. If these validating resolvers do not have the new key when the KSK is rolled, internet users relying on those resolvers will be unable to access the internet. If you have enabled DNSSEC validation, you must update your systems with the new KSK to ensure that internet users can access the internet without interruption or problems. If you don't use DNSSEC, your system will not be affected by the rollover. However, we highly encourage you to consider implementing DNSSEC as it is an important part of preventing domain name hijacking. What you need to do. If your software supports automated updates of DNSSEC trust anchors, RFC 5011, the root zone KSK will be updated automatically at the appropriate time. You do not need to take any additional action. If your software does not support automated updates of DNSSEC trust anchors, RFC 5011, or is not configured to use it, you must manually update the software's trust anchor. The new root zone KSK is available at the link shown on the screen. Your systems can be updated at any time prior to the rollover. ICANN offers a testbed that you can use to verify if your systems can successfully update a trust anchor using the automated update protocol. If you want to learn about using ICANN's testbed, visit the link on the screen. The most important date in the KSK rollover process. The root KSK rollover will occur on 11 October 2017. This is the date when the new KSK will be used for signing for the first time. You must configure all DNSSEC validating resolvers with the new root KSK by this date. To learn more about this important process, visit the link on the screen. Send an email to globalsupport at ICANN.org with KSK rollover in the subject line. Join the conversation on Twitter using hashtag keyroll.